Now girls, I'm going to show you a slightly different technique with Mod Podge and Glitter. Remember how we did these with acetone to prepare them? Obviously broken and would be thrown out. So I'm going to marry them with my lovely poppies I did donkey's years ago for exactly this reason. And because the poppies are just so beautiful and already painted, all I want to do is make sure that these two things will match the poppies. I'm going to go through and use 11, 14, 16 glitter as a background for those absolutely beautiful poppies. And here is my setup. One, turn over and do the same thing. Notice that the things that I am using never touch the background. They're always resting on something somewhere. Ladies, you don't need to be too particular because these kinds of flowers are going to fill up a lot of the space and so I won't even use the normal technique of leaving things for 24 hours. Take them out, making sure that they don't sit down or you'll have a real horrible product. Now you retrieve the purple first and then you continue on to the next colour. We will go through quite a few backgrounds because you've always got to leave it in a way which is not sitting. Or you'll have a terrible craft object which will, people will think, Whoa. like so. I'll turn over so that you do the other side. Now I'm going to retrieve all this excess. If you are living in a tiny little place, A4 scrap paper does wonders. See this? I've been collecting this for six months. Twelve months of number 11. Final stage. What we can do in one go. Now, that quite laborious work is to sit for 24 hours. It isn't perfect, but it's good enough. It will never be perfect in the first round of anything. Never! The end, just put it all into one container for the future.